हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम इन दिस ऑनलाइन सेशन ऑफ टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड एसएस दिस इज पार्ट नंबर टू लेक्चर ऑफ द लेसन व्हिच वी ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टूड और आई मेड यू टू अंडरस्टैंड थ्रू दिस मीडियम ऑफ वीडियो इन द पार्ट नंबर वन लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड चैलेंजेस यानी कि इंडिया सोशल प्रॉब्लम एंड चैलेंजेस नाउ यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन द पेज नंबर आई कैन शो यू आउट हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फोर ओके सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज ऑल अबाउट द टेरिज्म इन कश्मीर देखो इंडिया बिकेम इंडिपेंडेंस ऑन फिफ्टींथ ऑफ द ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन टू सेपरेट नेशंस ऑफ इंडिया वॉज क्रिएटेड दैट इज हाउ पाकिस्तान फाउंड पाकिस्तान हैज कैप्चर्ड सम ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ कश्मीर एज वी नो राइट नाउ वी हैव टेकन ऑल्सो मीन्स आफ्टर द सेवेंटी ईयर्स सेवेंटी सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स वी हैव रिमूव द आर्टिकल ऑफ थ्री सेवेंटी That is how we can say after the independence, Jammu and Kashmir was an integral part of India. Still, Pakistan tries to capture it every now and then, every time, and it has been also one of it has been also the uh, we can say about the forges for that. In the every year, India has infected and humiliated the defeat to it. And terrorism is one of the thing which is one of the one of the basic thing which is actually making Kashmir, India, and almost every nation to be in the problem. So. the terrorism has increased actually in the kashmir since after 1988 it has gone on the verge it in the ancient time but now it has gone on the expand so the terrorism have been terrorized people by kidnapping murder bomb uh, bomb explosions etc and etc to fulfill their motive as a result of it families of many kashmiri pandits had also to migrate back to india or they have also killed out so they are actually coming back to india or they are killed out or they are becoming the refugees means the life is very dangerous therefore we can say kashmir is surrounded by terrorism today also though we have taken the kashmir then also some of the part of the terrorism are still active in this area now see the intention is for the terrorism is to create a fear instability and also in india they needed to rule out now this is how we can say ke okay, this is affecting as i said you as i made you to understand about the nationalism too now see my dear student the terrorism is one of the kind of a disease which is actually making which is actually making everybody everybody in the puzzle in the problem and that is how india but also anywhere in the any time whenever you are actually trying to fight with the terrorism obviously there are some kinds of problems and there are some kinds of challenges also which you need to focus out here now as we know everybody that terrorism is one of the thing so i'll show one of the more line okay i'll show one of the line which will describe you see what is terrorism <coughs> देखो टेरिज्म इज अ ग्लोबल प्रॉब्लम आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू दिस बट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू वंस अगेन टेरिज्म इज अ ग्लोबल प्रॉब्लम इन द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी टेरिज्म हैज बिकम अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर द ह्यूमन सोसाइटी एंड ऑल्सो इट इज वन ऑफ द ग्लोबल प्रॉब्लम वाई बिकॉज टेरिज्म लीड्स टू डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द ह्यूमन राइट्स ब्लड शेड डिस्ट्रक्शन फियर देन केयर्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा इट इज जनरेटिंग ऑल दो टेरिज्म हैज नो कनेक्शन विद एनी रिलीजन not any religion because if you say muslims are terrorist that is wrong if you say hindus are terrorist that is also wrong so we need to understand that terrorism are not belonging to any caste or any kind of categories and whoever are the terrorist they must be killed out they must be shooted out they must be given the basic amount of the punishment so that is how we need to understand although we can say terrorism has no connection with any religion linked with the religion and making to link with the religion is a wrong thing so getting inlug into the cowardness and the hatefulness act terrorism is a hindrance also for the progress of nation and terrorism is also related with the violation of the rules regulations destruction and openly we can say they violate the principles of the constitution let live and to live also so terrorism is an actually organized and planned and it is one of the thing which is deliberated into a violence act terrorism are engaged in the violent activities such like suicide attacks throwing bombs hiding weapons landmines and all okay kidnapping hijacking plane then suicide attack smuggling narcotic drugs and all all these kinds of activities are related somewhere to the terrorism and some are related directly to the terrorism so this is how we need to fight out but fighting is not a kind of a solution as we know that and i have also told you we need to go and work on the steps of mahatma gandhi truth and non violence we should not fight okay so that is how we can say rebellion and the terrorism is actually the group which are affecting the nation now let's see the let's see the difference between both okay what is rebellion rebellion means the first topic is that ke rebellion is a national problem while terrorism is a global problem rebellion groups are spread on the region level 
against in any state in the border state like we can say Jharkhand, that Bengal, Bihar, Assam and all revolution can be seen out here. Now terrorism it is either against of whole of the country or against of any particular person okay so therefore terrorism is different from the revelation now if you go further it is also carried out with the help of local people rebellion the village people and all terrorism they may not get support by the local people development of the rebellion is suffering from the problem of india and it is hindered also development of the country is suffering from terrorism is also one of the hindered thing so we can say we need to understand hindered means the progress which have been hindered then we need to understand that this is the condition where now we need to come out of that okay now i am reading some of the basic lines related to the terrorism see here the next slide movement what is next slide movement generally as if you know basically okay, inspirations are given to the people as i made you understand inspiration are given to the people who are relating with the bad mentality and all now let's check it out which places are actually consisting the next light belt nagaland nscn national socialist council of nagaland okay then manipur knf kuki national front then comes that is kuki national army also tripura national liberation front of tripura nlft then awtf all tripura tigers force these all are ulefa in assam and all these all are rebellion group and that is how we can say that last para says that okay, the terrorism as well as the rebellion is the one thing which is making india and everybody every everybody you me everyone to be in the problem now as a result we can say terrorism is a mutual faith and feeling of the brotherhood too which is actually disturbing the nation so we should not make any kind of problem to the any person we should always live together okay so that is how many times it leads to communal conflicts also jati war okay as well as social arrangements are also being disturbed fragrance of the peace and love is also scattered and chaos and urgent security highly demand is also generated in the society people are suffering from this they cannot celebrate the social functions with enthusiasm everywhere there is a fear of terrorism so therefore we can say as a result internal relations of the connecting people are also distributed it is not properly working out and that creates the economic impact also economic impact of terrorism means because of terrorism conducive wars okay or atmospheric uh, their atmosphere is also full of with the uh, killing ideas thoughts and mythology only so that's how we can say business and industry is also not created somehow so the business and the trade relationships are also adversely affected due to the help of terrorism so we should try to stop the terrorism now because of terrorism we, we need to understand that due to the negative effect of a business and industry people migrate from one place to another if terrorism is affecting business the sectors okay at that condition people will not try to live in that area because it is highly uh, alerted from the terrorism so they will try to move somewhere else that also leads to not develop that area so some terrorist organization ex extort money from rich people industrial employment and business people also why they extract money it's a kind of a ransom firati because they needed to run their group they needed to buy their material they needed to eat the food they needed to survive so they ask for the money on the crook on hook of the gun so that's how we can say sometimes organizations are also extortion doing of the money from the rich people industrialist employment people employees people and then we can say businessman too now terrorism is actually engaged in the anti social activities like drug trafficking black money as a result of it social economical problems are also created in india right now you might have seen the drug cases increasing very speedily in india do we do you think that where the money is going when you buy a drug somewhere the money is empowering the terrorism so if a bomb blast is done in any part of the world or in your country only you are also responsible for that bomb blast if you are buying this kinds of nicotine products or uh, we can say like drugs and all basically we should not do that kind of thing we should always be nature lover and the nation lover 
Now the last line says that terrorists destroy railway lines also. Radio signals are also disturbed out here. Road, bridge, other government offices are also burnt out. So crores and crores and millions and millions of the rupees are spent to re-establish this kinds of thing. But one in the second terrorism brings everything into the disaster. Every motion into the chaos. And that is how we can say that as a result of terrorism, state and national transportation, industry, tourism have also been suffering. Tourism is also in the great loss today. Why? From India. Nobody is saying that I want to go Pakistan, visit Pakistan. No, because we know that there are some kinds of problems related to the terrorism. We need to ask the question, are these Pakistanis saying that we need to come to India for the, for the touring purpose and all? Yes, because they know India is a safe part of the country. They can come. So, as a result, I will read this line. Terrorism is also disturbing the whole transporting system and industry also as well. It is also making to destruct the whole scenario related to the concept of tourism, related to the concept of message broadcasting internet media, social platform, everybody, everywhere, everything is disturbed. So we need to come forward to fight against the terrorism. We need to come forward to get a combat for the terrorism. See, I would like to share some of the lines with you that some of the chart also. Let me show you out here. I'll find some of the terrorism problems are also there, which are actually making us to make more and more in the trouble. Dekho, it is it is written here basically in the provisions of the article okay, according to the article of the provision 46 directive principle of the state policy state would take care of education social economical interests of the backward classes and the state especially with the scheduled classes and the with the society who are actually getting against the social injustice and exploitation already we are fighting with this kinds of problem government is going to help this kinds of people scheduled caste scheduled tribe or whatever the backward lower classes are there okay Dekho, First of all, no any caste, no any class are backward. But according to the language, the book is asking and telling me to read about that. And I'm reading out here the peep. Actually, backward means what? The caste which is not developed. It is not backward. It is actually not developed. Okay. So government is helping it. But just you think about that. If the government itself is actually busy in solving the matter related to the terrorism, the money of the country is wasted itself on the matter related to the terrorism. The tourism of the country is developed itself by the matter related to the terrorism. How the country will help these kinds of people? How? That is the biggest question of today's century. Second point says that you, you, you just see it out. According to the article 16, that is A4, if the state government feels that backward class are not represented with the opportunity, okay, or we can say it is also like proportionately it is not recommended with the government job state government will have to write to put them into the jobs and the appointment must be done but how they will generate this kinds of things jobs are given only when the bank balance of the industrialist people or the buyers the investors are highly filled but due to terrorism the industries are only developed the country is not suffering from the good GDP, then how they will try to give the business, how they will try to give the jobs also. So this is how we can say, my dear student, terrorism is a very dangerous thing and we should never ever support terrorism. As I said you, and as I also read about this kinds of group that in Assam, ULEFA, that is United Liberal Organization, front of Assam is working, UMF, that is United Minority Front, these all are these all are the rebellion group which is also known as mini terrorism their fight is against either government or either a personal people okay so that's how we can say one is bltf that is bodoland liberal Libera liberation tiger force that is also related in assam only now bodoland why they call because one of the tribe came since from the ancient time whose name was the bodias the community of the bodias okay the bodo people so they are also right now they are also doing the same thing what we don't need what the country is not needing they are doing that kind of thing so i hope this lecture was interesting and thoughtful for you and one thing we need to remember always i say in my lecture jai hind jai farad i don't say any kind of god or goddess's name neither in starting nor in ending why because because i don't represent any kind of communalism here yeah do i relate to my community but it doesn't means that i will make my march and speak in a mic 
to show you that I belong to this caste and that caste. So one caste generally we all are having. Whether you are watching, you are a Muslim person or you are watching a Hindu person, Christians, you are there or you are from the Jain family. Okay, you are from the Farsis and all, Sikh family. I don't care about that thing. I do care about one thing is that you should have the love with the nation and you should have also love with your community as I do love my community. This will make we all to live in a very secular thought of belief and will never ever hurt anyone. So once again, I will repeat my sentence. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Take care and keep revising. Always love nation and take pride being an Indian. Nation comes first. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat once again.